What's up guys, it's Technobie here and today I'm going to show you a new tweak on Cydia called Color Keyboards. As the title says, it lets you colorize your keyboard, but it's nothing like iAccess, which I'll explain later in the video. So first things first, got to go into Cydia, let it load up, and then go to search, and then type in Color Keyboards. You don't need to add any source or anything, just type in Color Keyboards, two words, keyboard, I mean you should get this now of course it's only two dollars you can go ahead and support the developer right here I'm going to show you some you know information straight off the head it only supports on iOS 4.0 and up it does not work on the iPad and it gives you a link to his website which tells you how to make your own theme which I'll explain later in the video but I'm just going to show you a sneak peek right now because of guess I'm doing that right now you can probably tell it looks complicated which I may do a separate video on later today or maybe this week. Alright, so I'm just going to install. It's going to tell you to respring. So I'm just going to skip or fast forward this part. Alright, back in the home screen, the color keyboard will be in your settings. So I'm going to show you where it is. Of course, go into settings and then go all the way down until you see color keyboard, which is only one word. From here, you get the basic uh, layout use meaning is it enabled or disabled uh, select themes author his email and the website so you already get five preloaded themes you can always check them and then rearrange them like you would in winterboard and then once you're done you can just tap on save and respring very simple so once you tap that it's going to respring your iDevice and you should see your theme enabled. Right now I'm showing you it's working on spotlight. There's no lag or anything. You can uh, do whatever you want. The only uncustomizable was the uh, the preview after you type. So you can see when I press A it pops up the little preview thumbnail. That hasn't changed. Also what I like about key, uh, color keyboard is that when you both type in uh, two separate letters at the same time it doesn't lag unlike iAccess which usually only selects one letter I'm gonna also show you that it does work on the address bar unlike iAccess which only shows you the default keyboard layout so I'm pretty surprised that uh, color keyboards actually lets you use your customizable keyboard on the address bar this all works for the Google search bar and anything else that requires you to type in like your notes SMS which I'll show you right now Okay, and right here you can just uh, just type in whatever. Also, guys, if you're interested in the theme, I'll do a review uh, early this week, so I'll provide a video link to that on this video. And that's pretty much it. That's what you're gonna get from Color Keyboard. Of course, it's only two dollars. Now I'm gonna talk about what's the difference between iAccess and Color Keyboard. iAccess lets you really customize your I device meaning you can you do your own theme and apply it on like color keyboard where you can only customize it with colors using hex code so and iAccess is only like 15 bucks compared to color keyboard which is only two bucks so if you just really want a basic color customizable keyboard you're better off color keyboard but if you really want a fully customizable uh, keyboard and you're better off with iAccess. So right now I'm showing you the website which states the FAQ, make your own theme, video demo, history, and recent site activity. But uh, yeah, I'll post a link in the description, like I said, to the website, which tells you how to make your own theme. But uh, that's about it, guys. If you have any more questions, please post a comment on the comment section. And uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe.